What truce? The US and China never had a meaningful truce because the rivalry continues. Now it's on a new chip advanced packaging battle, which is widely known to only China market and manufacturers. But the US has decided to open a new war on this packaging battle. To remove the market from China and move to Ohio, USAR, will China allow the US to win this battle? Or will China strengthen the existing manufacturing? Let's find out together. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Czech YouTube channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. The escalation of competition between the U.S. and China in the semiconductor industry particularly in the realm of advanced packaging of chips, marks a new chapter in the technological rivalry between the two global powers. The U.S., under the leadership of President Joe Biden, has implemented a dual strategy aimed at hindering China's advancement in high-tech sectors. This involves restricting China's access to cutting-edge semiconductor technology while simultaneously bolstering the U.S. as own semiconductor production capabilities. Just a quick reminder to hit the like button below. YouTube has been restricting my videos a lot recently because of bots, so your like does help out this video massively in terms of the algorithm in YouTube. Now, the focus is shifting to the increasingly critical field of semiconductor packaging. This process, which involves encasing chips and protective materials and integrating them into electronic devices, is now seen as a key avenue for enhancing performance, while the U.S. any was seemingly aware of the potential of advanced packaging. China is also making significant strides in this area. Notably, advanced packaging is an arena not currently hampered by U.S. sanctions, allowing China to gain a global market share and make progress in areas where it has been restricted in high-end chip manufacturing. According to Jim McGregor, founder of Tyrius Research, packaging is the new pillar of innovation in the semiconductor industry. For China, which lacks cutting-edge capabilities in other areas, focusing on packaging offers a more accessible path to advancement. This approach could help China narrow the technological gap with the U.S. Historically, semiconductor packaging was often an afterthought in the industry, leading to its outsourcing, primarily to Asia, with China benefiting significantly. Currently, the U.S. only accounts for a meager three of the global packaging capacity, as per data from Intel Core. However, the landscape is changing rapidly, with advanced packaging becoming a central strategy for companies like Intel. China views it as a way to develop its domestic semiconductor capacity. In response, Washington is now looking at advanced packaging as a key component of its strategy for technological self-sufficiency. In the wake of the Chips and Science Act, the Biden administration has announced a $3 billion National Advanced Packaging Manufacturing Program. The program aims to establish multiple high-volume packaging facilities by the end of the decade. Under Secretary of Commerce Lori Locasio, has do and sidelighted the need to reduce reliance on Asian supply lines, which are seen as a security risk. White House spokeswoman Robin Patterson has emphasized that advanced packaging is a critical area for maintaining America's leadership in semiconductor manufacturing. Advanced packaging is increasingly viewed as essential for maintaining competitiveness in semiconductor technology. It enables the creation of faster, cheaper systems by combining different types of chips. This approach allows for the optimal use of China's latest chip technology by integrating it with older, less expensive technologies for various functions within a single powerful package. If you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe, share the video and comment. China's focus on semiconductor packaging technologies as part of President Xi Jinping's Made in China 2025 program has positioned it prominently in the global market. The country holds 38 of the world's assembly, testing, and packaging market, the largest share of any nation. While it trails behind Taiwan and the U.S. in advanced technology, its position in packaging is much stronger, offering a potential route to catch up in the broader semiconductor industry. Chinese companies are actively expanding their presence in the advanced packaging sector. JSID Group, the world's third largest assembly and testing company, is a prime example, having acquired an advanced facility in Singapore and constructed a packaging plant in Jiangian. The U.S. government, meanwhile, is grappling with the challenge of balancing the need to restrict China's access to advanced computing technologies with the realities of the global semiconductor supply chain. The recent release of Huawei Technologies Inc., its Mate 60 Pro smartphone, powered by a 7 nanometer chip made by China's Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corps, raised questions about the effectiveness of U.S. export controls. 
Gulf from response to these challenges, the U.S. Department of Commerce has focused its efforts on front-end semiconductor manufacturing, with assembly, test, and packaging services considered less critical to national security. However, the growing importance of advanced packaging in the industry, particularly for AI applications, is forcing a re-evaluation of this stance. Companies like Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, Micron Inc., D Intel, and S Kinex are investing heavily in advanced packaging facilities around the world. These investments reflect a broader industry trend towards sophisticated packaging solutions that can compensate for the slowing pace of advancements in traditional chip manufacturing. As described by Moore's Law, the modular approach of using chiplets tightly packed together in the same package is gaining traction. This method is seen as a way to continue improving chip performance in an era where the physical limits of traditional semiconductor scaling are increasingly a constraint. The implications of this intensified rivalry in semiconductor technology extend beyond the immediate concerns of market dominance and national security. The race to excel in advanced packaging technologies underscores a broader shift in the strategic priorities of both the U.S. and China. It reflects an evolving landscape where technological prowess is increasingly seen as a cornerstone of geopolitical power. Advanced packaging technologies are crucial for a variety of high-end applications, including artificial intelligence, cloud computing, and the Internet of Things (AI). These technologies enable the integration of multiple chips or chiplets into a single package, allowing for greater functionality and efficiency. This approach is particularly advantageous as the industry confronts the physical limitations of Moore's Law, which has guided the exponential growth of computing power for decades. You are enjoying this video so far. Please don't forget to subscribe, share the video, and comment. The U.S. Frenetelier government's commitment to strengthening its domestic semiconductor industry through initiatives like the Chips and Science Act and the National Advanced Packaging Manufacturing Program reflects a strategic shift towards ensuring technological independence and security. By investing in domestic capabilities, the U.S. aims to reduce its reliance on foreign supply chains, particularly those dominated by geopolitical rivals. China's aggressive push into advanced packaging is part of its broader strategy to become self-reliant in core technologies. The country's investments in semiconductor packaging are seen as a way to circumvent restrictions on access to advanced chip-making technologies imposed by the U.S. Gerson. By focusing on areas where it can quickly close the gap with global leaders, China aims to bolster its domestic industry and reduce its dependence on foreign technology. The competition in advanced packaging also has significant implications for the global semiconductor supply chain, as both the U.S. and China invest heavily in this area. We may see a shift in the geographical distribution of semiconductor manufacturing capabilities. This could lead to a more diversified and possibly more resilient global supply chain, reducing the current heavy reliance on a few key regions, particularly East Asia. However, this competition also raises concerns about the potential for technological fragmentation as the and China pursue divergent paths in semiconductor technology. There's a risk of creating incompatible standards and technologies, leading to a divided global market. This could hinder the development of a cohesive global technology ecosystem, impacting innovation and efficiency. Furthermore, the focus on advanced packaging in the semiconductor industry is likely to spur innovation in related fields, as chipmakers seek to develop more sophisticated packaging solutions. We may see advancements in materials science, nanotechnology, and manufacturing processes. These innovations could have far-reaching implications, potentially leading to breakthroughs in various sectors, including healthcare, transportation, and energy. The U.S. relates to China rivalry in advanced packaging is also likely to influence global talent flows and investments in research and development. As both countries v for leadership in this critical technology area, Attracting and retaining top talent will become increasingly important. This competition may drive greater investment in education and research institutions, fostering the next generation of innovators and technologists. The ongoing U.S. Montana competition in advanced semiconductor packaging is more than a race for technological supremacy in a critical industry. It represents a strategic contest that will shape the future of global technology, influence geopolitical dynamics, and potentially redefine the boundaries of innovation in the 21st century. As this competition unfolds, it will be crucial to monitor its implications for global trade, technological collaboration, and the broader pursuit of scientific advancement. Thank you for your attention.
and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video, and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us. Check out this video showing on your screen right now, and I will see you on the other side.